Did you know that you don't actually have to know how to sing to join a choir? You don't have to have any musical background to join a choir. All you need is to have a want to learn. Because choir is so much more than what is presented on the surface. I'm just Dante Simmons and I've been singing in a choir for seven years. And for six of those years at a chamber level. A chamber being the highest level of choral music that you're allowed to sing. And I want to tell you today about the importance of choir. Starting in the medieval era, choir was first introduced, like officially, for gospel music and praising and other events that happened. Now, fun fact is that choir was actually only full of guys. Only guys were allowed to sing because obviously they thought that women were, um, were lesser and only men could do everything, basically. Well, people also wonder, how did guys sing so high? Well, fun fact, guys were who wanted to sing higher had their genitalia snipped off so that they can keep their boyhood and sing like a soprano. So people might also wonder, when did girls start singing? Girls didn't start singing until the 1940s, singing in the sense of an actual choir group in front of an audience for the crowd to all witness. Girls weren't allowed to sing until the second era, solo-wise in front of a group. Now, people also don't understand the benefits of being in a choir, as there's a long list that comes with being in a choir, because choir is not just about singing. Granted, singing is the root of choir, but choir benefits you in so many other ways. For example, it strengthens the feeling of togetherness. A research led by Nick Stewart, a physiologist, that under the um, studies of Bath University indicates that people who participate in a choir enjoy a greater feeling of togetherness. Obviously, I believe this is because not only are you having to learn a song together, you are vocally experiencing the same emotion while singing this song. It has a different level of togetherness than a sport. Because this is not physical type of togetherness, but an emotional one. On top of that, it also reduces stress levels and depression because singing is a more enjoyable thing to do. For example, when you are feeling down, most people's go-to is to play a song. And when you sing it in a difference and on top of that with other people, it makes that more of a stronger feeling and makes people generally less depressed. And finally, for benefits, it improves your social well-being. Under the same physiologist, Nick Stewart, he reports that most people who have been in a choral group have a higher level of social interaction. And I believe this to be very much so true because of the fact that you have to have a bond to be able to sing together. A choir that sings together, stays together, has been my high school motto. And finally, some people believe that it helps you live longer. A study under Harvard University explains that singing in a choir group helps you live longer because it keeps your spirits high and keeps you more lively. Now, on top of that, choir also benefits you educational-wise. And people don't understand really why. Now, let me tell you. Choir teaches you a level of responsibility. It teaches you more than just singing, but you can't be in a choir if you don't listen to the conductor that is teaching you. This teaches you a lot more self-responsibility while also teaching you how to not be dependent on others to help you succeed. And that goes directly into your studies, into your educational history. And most people don't know that because most people only think that choir is for singing. And it's very unfortunate. I've been in choir for seven years and I've been a very consistent student while being in a choir. Because choir has been very beneficial for me. And it's also beneficial for everyone who's not wanting to be continuing music in their future. Because most people think that you have to want to continue music to actually even be in choir. To have to have a life of music to continue singing in choir. But that's not the case. Choir is something that helps you as your well-being and it helps you sing. 
So ultimately, choir has had a long history of only males and then only introducing females in, in the very, very recent centuries. On top of that, it increases your well-being and it benefits you in much more ways than just singing. And on top of that, it makes you a better person. It keeps your grades up and ultimately helps you succeed. So next time you ask if I should join a choir or you question yourself because you can't sing, don't let that stop you.